G'day guys and hope you're doing all pretty well. Uh, apologies for not too many uploads, been pretty busy and uh, got myself a, a place. Uh, as you can see, the background looks a little bit different, just keep kicking back on the couch. But uh, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update with how I'm going. I recently, very recently, completed the A Plus 220 901 course. Uh, I completed that successfully. Uh, I don't have the certificate with me right this second, but I think it's uh, 675 points out of a thousand to pass. I got to 765 uh, thereabouts and yeah, it was a good experience. So I'll give you a bit of a um, yeah, gauge on the day and sort of what type of questions you get and I guess the process with signing up for these exams. Uh, yeah, so I guess the initial process, obviously you go on the CompTIA website, you go buy exam. I'm not gonna do everything, but you can um, choose which type of uh, bundle you're after. I just did this one. Uh, I did it through work, which was good. So uh, if I passed it successfully, uh, reimbursed there, which was nice. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, so that was really good. Uh, so once once you click buy now, it'll take you through to um, create a Pearson View account. Uh, obviously, you, you submit the payment through Pearson View and uh, select a, a destination that's sort of close by. Um, that uh, I guess an exam center that takes these exams and schedule a day, schedule a time, rock up with your ID, uh, take a couple of forms of ID and, and all these instructions will be there. Make sure you get you know, plenty of time beforehand and whatnot. Uh, just to allow yourself, might even do a video about exam preparation uh, potentially, rather than rolling off on this video. So yeah, it was a good experience. I, I went in there, registration, pretty straightforward, just jump into a room and then yeah, from there, uh, it got pretty real where there's a computer there and you've got uh, 90 minutes and you've got to answer the same questions right. So uh, I can't obviously delve too intricately into the de some of the details, but they'll generally start off with uh, some I guess, simulation questions. So right off the bat, you're sort of under the pump early. No, no easing in with a couple of you know, nice, easy multiple choices. And uh, you find yourself spending a little bit of time on those early on. Got to be conscious to not spend too much time on it um, because you've got to obviously weigh up. You've got other questions as well, but yeah, it was a good experience. Uh, I'm obviously from Australia and had to travel about an hour because uh, locally I don't have that uh, this certification offered, and it, uh, they don't do proctored exams for the um, the A plus. They they do it for some of the other ones, but uh, not proctored for this one, unfortunately. Yeah, so. Yeah, I was really wrapped. It was a good sort of day. I was doing a bit of work on the train on the way up. Um, not not too much happening on the on the Friday, which was nice. Uh, yeah, just kicking back really, and uh, yeah, getting there. Got there with plenty of time. Caught a cab, and it was good to go. And yeah, so a lot. I found a lot of the questions to be yeah, simulate or not simulation. I'm um, sort of scenario based. Uh, again, I can't. Uh, give any specific questions out, otherwise it's going against the guidelines of uh, CompTIA, probably any anything really. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they'll often give you a problem and then a solution for it. So you'll have a theory where it's like, uh, what's the, uh, I don't know, maximum amount of hard drive space here? And they'll give you a scenario where you have to factor in the theory of that and then apply it to the practical scenario. Um, yeah, so a lot of it is obviously covered in the details. Uh, yeah, you can sort of get the objectives there if you sign up there. Uh, yeah, that can be sort of one way of getting the objectives. But um, yeah, guys, if you're nervous, keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Um, ensure you do really well on, uh, I guess, the practice exams you're doing. Um, you look online, even you Google around, there's a lot of uh, websites that sort of do this that show you sort of some practice exam questions and whatnot. Make sure you know the material inside out. Make sure if there's any bits you don't know very well on the, the down here, what have we got, the objectives, highlight those and then just, whether it's rote learning, whether it's a fancy way of remembering it, um, keep going on your way about that. So then you can um, ensure you get give yourself the best chance of passing because I was a bit nervous I was, before clicking that submit button, I was like, wow, well, uh, if I get this, uh, yeah, once I'll get into it, once the exam's actually done, survey which takes about 10 or so minutes so they keep the suspense they make you fill out the survey first uh, once you fill out the survey then you've got the exam uh, results straight up on the screen or they passed or you failed uh, so it gets pretty real and I'll look I'll be honest I was sweating bullets I was pretty nervous because um, I thought 
I went over the questions a couple of times. It's another important thing just to keep going over the questions uh, until you nearly until you run out of time, just so you, you ensure you give yourself the best chance of passing. And anything that you weren't too sure of, you can sort of consolidate and uh, validate a little bit more at that time. And uh, yeah, I've got the re good result, and I was I couldn't really celebrate too much. You know, cameras in the room and whatnot, but I was pretty pumped. I was like pretty nervous, but uh, I got the chocolates done, got got the job done there. And I uh, was really wrapped, and it was it was, um, it was a pretty sweet um, yeah way home. Um, I think I just walked back to the train station, and then caught the train back, and yeah, nothing was really happening. Um, you know, tickets wise at work, so you know, did what I could there, and yeah, just kicked back and watched some um, footy stuff I downloaded, AFL stuff. So uh, yeah, guys, that's my little uh, Compte A plus two twenty nine oh one experience. Um, I'm hoping, and I'm doing pretty well on nine oh two. Just doing practice exam questions until I'm blue in the face, really, and uh, ready to take it on board. So that's uh, my experience. Um, if you have any questions or queries, chuck them down in the comments. Uh, any thoughts or problems you have with the 901, chuck them down there. And um, I'm going to have to put those worries to bed. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and it um, yeah, helped you out a little bit. And uh, I'll catch you guys all next time.